U.S. trade policy has delivered one punch in the gut after another to workers and to the unions that fight for those workers. For decades, leaders of both parties preached the gospel that free trade was a rising tide that would lift all boats. Uh, it's great rhetoric, except that the trade deals that they negotiated mainly lifted the yachts, and they threw millions of working Americans overboard to drown. Yeah. Tomorrow, the Trump administration will likely sign a renegotiated NAFTA deal. There's no question we need to renegotiate NAFTA. The federal government has certified that NAFTA has already cost us nearly a million good American jobs. And big companies continue to use NAFTA to outsource jobs to Mexico to this very day. But as it's currently written, Trump's deal won't stop the serious and ongoing harm NAFTA causes American workers. It won't stop outsourcing, it won't raise wages, and it won't create jobs. It's NAFTA 2.0. So the president grabs headlines, railing against GM's plan to ax thousands of American jobs in Ohio and Michigan. But his actual policies aren't stopping them, or stopping others like them from continuing to put corporate profits ahead of American workers. It's time for real change. We need a new approach to trade, and it should begin with a simple principle. Our policies should not prioritize corporate profits over American paychecks.